Okay, so um, here we are in video three of the Shopify print on demand course. So, uh, you know, this is part of the, the playlist. So, if you've missed the other videos, you can just uh, have a look in the playlist and go back and watch the other ones. If you're watching this on YouTube, I would appreciate it if you, you know, uh, press the subscribe button and, and like the video, um, please, <laughs> if possible. Right, so in the, in the last video, we, you know, we went through some niche uh, research. Now, I, you know, I and and just to be clear, in case people think that you know what we went through were the only niches around, we just, you know, we just looked at the tip of the iceberg. Okay, so, you know, passionate niches are endless. Really, there's hundreds of them, and, and we only looked at a few. And after the last video, I got a, I did I got a couple of um, you know. Uh, emails and and private messages on Facebook asking me, you know, how come I didn't, uh, you know, t uh, talk about the music niche? And yes, music is a very passionate. You, you know, you have different types of music. You've jazz music, Irish music, dance music. Every d there must be fifty different types of of music. And and yes, that is very passionate. So I just have to be, you know, clear that you know not every. I haven't talked about every passion, and just because I don't mention the the niche doesn't mean it's not a passionate one. So you know, I was just doing a few examples in the last video. Um, like there's so many, you know. So in the last video, I just done one or two. I think I got to just German shepherds, and I asked everybody to you know fill up the sheet uh, with what they think is passionate niches, starting with the ones that you believe are the passionate ones and ones that you have a an interest in and see how it goes now you know i've i've added an extra a, a few ones here Um, i could have filled up this sheet more and more and more um because the list is endless okay and um, a lot of people message me saying that they thought the criteria was was very you know tough and that they you know they had you know many many niches that didn't meet the the facebook audience or didn't meet you know the five hundred thousand like page, and and you know, and I have to, I have to stress this very, very importantly that I it was a million, and I brought it down to five hundred thousand because you let's face it, if it's a worldwide niche, and it's really, really passionate, and um, then you know, at the very, very least, there should be at least one Facebook like page with five hundred thousand likes. You know, you have to remember that this is has to be so passionate. That people are nearly, you know, dedicated to it, you know, and this is what you have to keep in mind: a passionate niche for, for Shopify print and demand is where people have a, a near obsession with this. It's it's their it's their life or their second life, you know. And if there's not a like page with at least five, at least one like page with at least five hundred thousand likes, then it's not as passionate as maybe you think it is. Okay, so I have to stress that, right? You know, we talked about the tree. Big niches, which was wealth, uh, wealth and we wealth, health, and relationships, and you know, in Shopify print on demand, it can be sometimes a little bit difficult to find, uh, you know, a niche within them three because, you know, unless you find, in in the health maybe section, I don't know, quit smoking. Maybe there's jewelry in regards to how to quit smoking. I I, I don't really know, but uh, everything is worth looking into. So what I done, I added a few. Um, the ones that are highlighted in green are ones that I think uh, that I believe need further research. The ones like I that basically the ones in the green are are good to go as far as I'm concerned. That just need you know a little bit of further research to see which one I go with. The ones highlighted with orange are ones that I'm not sure about. You know that didn't. I didn't find all the um, criteria. Now, that's not to mean I didn't look properly, you know, so I can go back to them at some stage and see, you know, did I do them searches correctly? And the ones here would have no highlight color are ones that just stopped short right at the beginning. And to me, you know, the Facebook audience, if it doesn't reach the Facebook audience, to me, it's not worth looking further. Now, I could change the search term a little bit because some you know, search terms, like, i give you an example, Vikings, for instance, is it the Viking TV series, or is it the Viking historical, you know, thing, you know, so, you could look up Viking 
TV series and, and see that you know the audience is not big enough and then give up on that. But then if you look and change the criteria, change the search a little bit, you will find that actually is uh, has a, a large Facebook audience. And I'm just giving that as an example. Um, so when I was searching, you know, you know, Poodle. If you look at the last video, um, you know, just didn't have the like page likes. Now, you know, that's not to say I didn't look. You know, I mean, this is what I'm saying. I there could be a like page that has the criteria. I just didn't find it. Now, it could mean that I I just need to search a little bit more. But when I looked at German Shepherds and Siberian Husky, it nearly the first page I looked at had you know 2.5 2.7 the difference was just straight away the facebook groups were fairly big so you know they just stuck out so much easier and quicker and um, so again i stuck with pets the cat niche just in the in the three searches that i done the facebook audience just did not meet the um you know the criteria of, of at least a million now that's not to say that there is other um cats that that will you know and again i'm sure there's people watching or listening to this going you know why didn't you search this cat or that cat and it's a niche that i don't have another knowledge in okay so the, there is possibly probably another hundred cats you could search there and, and again i stress i've only done a few on this so then i changed it to animal sea turtle and um, because you know if Turtles is a very broad, like 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 dogs. You know, I think you need to niche down, and I look for sea turtle, and you you know, I got good audience. It got good Facebook like page, and um, you know, nearly five hundred thousand. Um, but I couldn't find a group that was dedicated to just sea turtles. Yes, there was groups about turtles and about sea creatures, but again, I it has to be that particular sub niche, and I I couldn't find it. Again, it's not to say that there isn't, and I might look at that again. Grizzly bears, good audience, couldn't find a, a like page. There is pages for bears, right, overall, but not just one for grizzly bears. And then I just went into something a bit, kind of really, you know, changed it a bit, and went into fantasy animal, unicorns, uh, a lot of like pages. Now, the thing that, ha that you have to be important as well is that some businesses are called say you could be the unicorn insurance company or the dragon restaurant and that could trick you and you have to be careful that the page that you're looking at isn't you know has to have relevance to your you know to the sub niche so you know i love unicorns would be acceptable a page you know about unicorn items or products yes but if a business is called something unicorn and that's its only connection to it now if it's sold unicorns yeah that is acceptable but if you see if you see a page called you know the dragon restaurant or the dragon insurance company or the unicorn wholesale company and that doesn't and that's its only connection is a name then that doesn't count because i got a couple of messages about that so then i changed the, um, the arts and crafts my mother loves sewing she loves knitting so i said right okay let's see sewing and, and massive audience really really good like page Facebook group, you know, Reddit community, massive. Google Trends, really, really popular in Google Trends. It's always hovering, you know, over 75, near 100. And, you know, if I look over here, and the amount on Pinterest, really, really popular. There's accounts on Pinterest dedicated to just, uh, you know, sewing that have over 200,000 and boards as well, have full of pins that have a following of over two. Really, really popular. And then the search terms. So the three main search terms that I use, um, in fact, I've actually spelled that wrong, uh, is jewellery, t-shirts and wall art. And, you know, anything that's green has fulfilled all the criteria. And it, it, to me, is near enough good to go. And to separate them, then I kind of use the for the research. And that's, you know, that's what I, I use in any way. So again, arts and crafts, you know, woodcraft, um, I didn't seem to have the Facebook like pages, and again, I could have used knitting. There's, you know, other loads more arts and crafts I could have looked. So I just looked at a couple. So health and wellness, the massive one of the big three. I didn't go with the the obvious one. You know, the obvious ones there is, you know, how to lose weight, 
how to quit smoking, how to become, you know, how to you know, bodybuilding, fitness. I, I chose something that it was a little, because, you know, I, I know people that have diabetes and maybe, and I just I wanted to have a look and see, you know, maybe there's a niche there for people who are, you know, you know, not ashamed to have diabetes or proud that they have it or I've overcome it or I, I'm able to, you know, uh, have it lead a normal life with this. Maybe, and I just threw that in there. I've no real knowledge of it, but, you know, it seemed to have a big audience, a like page, you know, awareness of this, of this, uh, of this, you know, health issue. Um, yes, Facebook group, Reddit community, um, good interest in Google Trends, Pinterest. But then when I looked, and I think this is an important one, I seem to have a lot of jewellery items. And funny enough, and surprisingly enough for me, there wasn't seemed to be an awful lot of t-shirts. And remember, the criteria here is that for every search term, I have, you know, five jewellery items that have a tell, over a, a thousand or more reviews, because that means that, you know, one in ten people is roughly what leave a review. If one in ten leave a review, then that means that item, if it's a thousand reviews, is sold roughly ten thousand times, you know. And there just didn't seem to be the interest in the t-shirts and the wall art and stuff like that. Now, if you wanted just to open a jewellery store, it could be the diabetes jewellery store, right? Then yes, that then would be a runner. Now, I when I open Shopify stores, I seem to have, I always go with, you know, kind of jewellery, a bit of t uh, apparel and also wall art. But if you were just wanted to concentrate on just a jewellery store, then yes, that would be a runner. Okay, so again, that's why it's orange. It might look into, you know, that a bit further. The wealth niche is something that I have experience in, you know, motivation and quotes. To, to be an entrepreneur, to start up your own, your own business takes a lot of motivation. It really, really does. And there's days where there's no money coming in and everything is going wrong. And, you know, and our brain tells us, like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Go and get a nine to five job. This is not worth it. And we're, we're programmed and conditioned to go to a nine to five and make somebody else wealthy and get a pay packet, you know, and spend 40, 50 hours a week doing that. That's not what I want to do. I want to be able to spend time with my kids and also make money. Um, so, but it takes an awful lot of motivation and most people give up when they, you know, come across their first mistake or first uh, hurdle or you know the first bad day it does take and there's no point me telling you differently here i'm going to you know, to me this video series is about me being honest and telling you what i've experienced and starting up your own business is not easy it, it, there, there is going to be days where everything goes wrong like at the moment for instance uh, i'm filming this in the 30th of january 2020 it's the middle of the chinese new year there's also the um that virus that's that's going around as well in China and I have orders from China that are now delayed, you know, and I have to explain that to to customers. So that you know, so that's one of the hurdles that I'm currently experiencing at the moment. And a lot of people when they come across that will just say, Oh, that's not for me. Now I know I'm going a, a off topic a little bit. But the wealth niche is something that I have experienced and so motivation and quotes, you know, you can build a brand around that, not just quotes, but, you know, sort of motivation towards people who, who want to, you know, build up their own business, the entrepreneurship, uh, sort of wealth niche, you know. So when I was looking at that, Facebook audience is really good, Facebook like page, uh, Facebook. Now, the Reddit community, you know, for motivation quotes only has 18,000, but motivational pictures has over 20,000, and motivation itself is a massive community has a couple of million on reddit so you know that is so that's why i left it green um and there is items uh sorry there is items there um that have uh jewelry t-shirts and wall art so this is why i left these open just to show you so you know i'm going to do one here just for the sake of the video one more and i haven't done any pre sort of uh, examination this 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 niche could fall on uh, on its first hurdle here okay so i was only looking at my son yesterday and we were playing with his uh, toy t-rex so i'm going to go in with um 
uh, ex extinct. Again, guys, I am an absolute terrible speller. And I'm going to go with... Um, uh, um, you know, I could go dinosaurs, right? But I think dinosaurs again is too, too much of a you know a broad niche. I want to you know sub niche down here. I'm going to go with T Rex. Okay, so again, my first point of call, the first hurdle here, is uh, hold on. Um, I should have had this open. Um, is Facebook audience, and from the last video, as I explained. Facebook is still, despite the other social medias out there, it's still the largest social media platform out there. And rightly or wrongly, it holds the most information on people. Um, oh no, that's a group. What am I doing? Um, audience. No. What is wrong with me today? Now. Yeah. Okay, so I have this as the United States. I could go worldwide. The reason why I leave it at the United States is because um, to me, that's probably where most of my custom is going to come from. So if it's not popular in the United States, then to me, there's no point in me going ahead of it. That's just the reason why I do it. Now, you could, you know, be going for selling in the UK or or Australia, whatever. I'll go worldwide, sorry, worldwide, but I always, I kind of go for the United States. I leave it at any age and gender and stuff like that. So the interest, T-Rex. Now that's a brand, no, I don't want the brand, T-Rex, no. Surely there's a, okay, dinosaur. Dinosaur film, welcome with dinosaurs. Um, let me see, Tyrannosaurus. Um. Ah, there we go. See, I'm a terrible speller. Right, so there we go. Now, as you can see, I haven't really re done any rehearsal for this. Right, so we're 3 to 3.5 uh, million. Okay, so, you know, we're on... So far, so good. Okay, so now, like page. Is there a like page? Um, okay. That has a... I don't know what... Uh, is there a like page for, you know, a T-Rex? Okay. Now again, I don't want... You know, I don't know what the T Rex business is. Um, now, do you know what? I am an absolutely atrocious speller, and um, so I'm going to get the proper spelling of this. Um, <laughs> now, there we go. Um, now. Now, I think that will probably get what we want uh, and pages. Because T-Rex seem to be coming up with businesses that are just called T-Rex that have no, you know, nothing really got to do with the dinosaur itself. Now, that seems to be a, a band or a person or something. I, I have no idea who that is, to be honest. Um, right, so Tyrannosaurus Rex. So, again, we're looking for a page that has over, you know, 500,000 uh, likes. So far, um, these are very, very low. I, you know, I thought this was the. Um, oh, I think I pressed that one already. Thought this was a very popular dinosaur. Um, there doesn't seem to be many people uh, liking the pages. So this looks like a really bad one. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, so this doesn't look like on a whole lot of pages. I need to go back to pages. Uh, 
Oh, I think I already, yeah, I already uh, pressed that one. So my, my internet is a little bit so old. This always kind of happens when I, I have the video software running. And okay, let's try this one. No, so this doesn't look like a good one. Um, right, so, um, so that's a non-runner, right? So I'm going to go right into now the further research. So the four that I have, the German Shepherd, the Siberian Husky, the sewing and the motivational quotes. So to me, you know, these are near enough already ready to go for sub niches. And what this is, is about is trying to, because I'm hoping that you find a few, it's trying to separate the one that, that works. Okay. That, that kind of, if you're not, if you're undecided now, you know, then this little bit of extra research might may help you decide which one to go for. And, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. German Shepherd, Siberian Husky and sewing is something that I don't really have an interest in or know much about. Right? Now, that's not to say you cannot, you know, it's a question again. Now, do you have to know to go with it? No. But I think if, you know, if I'm, you know, joining these Facebook groups and interacting with people that, you know, have a real interest in, say, a Siberian Husky and I'm there, you know, waffling about a dog that I have no interest or knowledge of, I think I'd be, I'd probably be shown up straight away and probably thrown out of the group. You know, where motivational quotes, you know, the, the well niche motivating people to start up their own business um, is something that I, I do have a knowledge in. It's what I do. So that's what I'm aiming towards. Now, what would turn me off and going for something else? If I now look on Amazon and eBay and see thousands upon thousands of items, for sale or selling in that might that might turn me you know and uh, but at the moment i have to admit because i have a knowledge in this and it's so far you know past the criteria that's what i'm aiming towards unless something sort of seriously happens within this further research one um you know because in my previous video i discussed that it you know if you have an interest and a knowledge in it and also meets the criteria, then that's the one you would, you know, go with. But it's not, you don't necessarily have to, you could read up on this, you could, you know, go and, and, and still sell items if you know how to do good Facebook ads and stuff. But I do think having the knowledge and, the, and being able to interact with people in Facebook groups is a great way of driving people to your store and having a knowledge of that niche is a massive help in that. So the first thing I have is online stores. Um, is there, right, because we, we already know that there's, you know, there's, there's accounts on Etsy, you know, that are selling within this niche. Okay. But, you know, having your own store is a different ballgame. Now you can, you can sell on both. You can sell on your Shopify store, use the apps on your Shopify store to also sell on Etsy. Right. But what if Etsy sort of, you know, you know goes tomorrow? You know, what are you left with then? And, you know, is there anybody else selling items in your niche that has their own store? So we already know they're already on Etsy. We're going to have a look and see if they're online store. So we, uh, so the German Shepherd, um, German Shepherd store, or say gift store. I think that kind of, the German Shepherd gift so that kind of gets up if there's any sort of um so that kind of shows you what's coming up on so the people here have paid google shopping to put these you know and there's shoes with german shepherds and, and, and jackets and hoodies and things like that so the german shepherd shop.com okay so this gives you an idea you know so someone already has a shop related to it this niche Okay, now Shopify print and demand straight away. Look, we'll have to tell you, you won't be selling dog harnesses or dog leads. Um, you will be selling, you know, this sort of products, t-shirts, maybe. Now I we'll have to, as I said before, t-shirts can be hit and miss. Great sellers, but then you get people who will buy and buy the wrong size and it can cause an awful lot of trouble sometimes. But you know, there is people out there that make a living just from selling t-shirts. There's mugs. Um, you know, is that all the children's drinkware 
personalised mugs, holiday mugs, accessories, toys, tugs. Doesn't seem to sell jewellery. Okay, bomber jackets. Let's have, a, let's have a look. Now, the sort of downside to this store seems to be there's no reviews on any of the items. Now, that doesn't mean they're not selling. He Maybe he doesn't have or she doesn't have an app that lets people leave reviews because, you know, and when I get to the video about designing your store, I'll show you what app to use to get your reviews. Um, he doesn't seem to have reviews on his items. So, you know, you can, so but what this could give you is an idea of, you know, what is sort of, of ideas of what is selling or, well, yeah, or what you could sell. So, yes, there is an online store now. Is there any others? So in our previous video, we talked about uh, Etsy. So, you know, that's the second result that comes up. Uh, Redbubble, um, TotalGermanShepherd.com, quality GS products for your own German Shepherd dog. Okay, let's have a look at this. Again, this is just for German Shepherd, which is, you know, when we're not looking for here, guys, is sort of, you know, a, a, a dog store that has, a, you know, a section for German Shepherd. We want to find stores that are just selling German Shepherd products. Um, now, this doesn't seem to be, yeah, dog ornaments, Christmas. I'm going to be honest with you. It's not a great looking store, um, you know, and if, you know, I don't mean if the person who has this store is watching, you know, I can help you, you know, make this look a lot better than this. Um, it's not great. I'm not going to even look any more into this. Um, so there's rover.com doglover.com again you can use these to have a to get an idea of, of what's selling um, but um, those are sections of a, of a general niche store so they're selling items in relation to probably loads of different dog breeds so that's kind of not what we're looking for so yeah look there's a store there and um, so at least somebody is selling online and um, has their own store and um, but we're, we're not able to get any reviews because it doesn't seem to be any reviews on any of these products so we have a look on Amazon German Shepherd Canada now this gives you an idea so when you start typing into Amazon or Etsy or eBay it kind of you know tells you what people are kind of typing in so German Shepherd gifts is something that people are actually typing in to Amazon so that pillow now that's something that you could sell on your Shopify store there is uh, suppliers that do pillows and um, 751 you know we're looking for kind of a thousand but you know that it's giving you an example that you know these type of, of items are selling so 176 127 43 <clears throat> um so can we do by best selling price average customer reviews um no um, well i suppose yeah you could So that seems to be the best one. The dog fodder is not really, you know, German Shepherd. So if I put in maybe German Shepherd jewelry. Yeah, so there are some items here, but as you can see, you know, they're not selling all that well, but judging by the reviews anyway, that's why, you know, Etsy for this you know, business for Shopify print of demand is much is a much better, you know, store uh, to or platform to look and see is it popular because you know I, I'm nearly positive 
that I saw this item on Etsy and it has something like 2,000 reviews and yet on Amazon it only has 25 because when people want to buy this type of item they're automatically going to Etsy they're not really going to Amazon okay so there doesn't seem to be a thousand one item there so on Amazon so I'm just gonna go no and um, I'm not gonna you know I'm look I'm just doing this because I'm uh, conscious of the time I've already done half an hour on this video but you can look a lot more further into this especially if you're undecided on the niche and you're trying to decide which one to go for um, and eBay for this again for this type of item um, you know and I'll actually tell you what I'm going to do one more search because German what 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 Amazon does sell an awful lot of is t-shirts and I just want to see and again you know yeah there is some items selling but not nowhere near you know to what we'd be looking for and nowhere near what Etsy are selling right so again you can do a little bit more further research into that so again if I go German German Shepherd so if I go German so you can see short terms right but I'm gonna look at jewelry So that's sponsored, so somebody is paying to get that. So um, now what you'll find here is probably a lot of these are being shipped from China, but there's one from the United States. Now we want to see fine listings that are actually uh, selling, so sold items. It doesn't necessarily have to be completed. Um, so I'll knock off the completed box. And just to see what's, um, <coughs> what's selling. So there's a German Shepherd and it sold two days ago. And a little pin. It's only one sold. I find eBay sort of again hit and miss when it's um coming to the, these sort of items. But again, you might find something that's selling massively and it might help you make your decision as to what niche to go for. Look, only eight sold. You know, so The German Shepherd necklace, look, 184 euro, or dollars. Is that just a once-off item? Yeah, once sold. But you're, what we're kind of looking for here when you're looking for eBay is an item that's all. The listing is already there, but it's sold a few times. If you get me, um, let me know you came in. And that was only a once-off. So again, you would need to to have a route through there. And um, for me at the moment, it's a no. Now, buyer intent keyword. So this is a, you know, a keyword tool that I use. And sometimes, you know, it, are people physically typing into Google uh, buyer intent keywords in relation to that niche? And um, so if I go onto Google and I type in again, German Shepherd jewelry, it's telling me here. That 260 a month are, are typing into you know Google and other maybe YouTube and, and other places a month. So what you're kind of looking for here is something that has maybe a thousand searches per month. And again, this is just to may help you make your decision as to whether, um, you know, <clears throat> um, people are actually so people are physically typing in. German Shepherd gifts, 1,600 people searches per month. Now, if I load these, German Shepherd gifts, yeah, German Shepherd rings and stuff like that, it kind of gives you an idea of what people are physically typing in, you know, and that's really, really important if you're undecided. But also, if you've decided on a niche, it gives you keyword ideas of, you know, when you're doing your product descriptions, what to add into this SEO, you know, keyword rich, descriptions are very very good so German Shepherd gives 1600 so yeah by intention yes gifts and that seems to be when you're doing this and um, the most common one 1600 so you know so extra search terms okay so you go back to Etsy and and see German Shepherd 
and mugs. Right, so there's one. Coffee and German Shepherds. Um, 1,000, so there's one of them. Over 1,000. So just to clarify again, you know, more than, it's likely that more than 10,000 people have bought that mug. There's only roughly 1 in 10 people leave a review. You know, so that's a very, very good seller. That's sold 5,593 times. And you see why Etsy, again, is so much better than Amazon and eBay. You know, and that's why Amazon and eBay, for me, in regards to Shopify print on demand, is just an extra little bit of research. That's all. Do not base your main decision, you know, on Amazon and eBay when it comes to it. Etsy is your number one site for this. Um, so it's just to help you in your decision making. So and that is sold like over 50,000 times. You know, there's, that's two. Um, now, is that German Shepherd? Yes. Um, so again, that's 40,000 times that's sold. You know, so whoever's selling the, the, the ultimate gift shop, you know, is is selling probably just, you know, on mugs alone, they're making their money. It's unbelievable. The Donald Trump one. Uh, uh, the German Shepherd, yeah. Again, so yes, absolutely. So this is a very, very popular niche. Um, yes. So I found five items that sold you know, that has over a thousand reviews. Phone cases. Okay. Okay. Uh, straight away, there's one for, you know, there's one three to over three thousand. You know, that's sold about thirty thousand times. Um, there's another one, two thousand. There's one, two. Um, three. There you go. Wow, like <laughs> that has nearly ten thousand reviews, um, and that, so that means it's sold about a hundred thousand. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Uh, two. Name's that. I don't think that's a German Shepherd one. There's a, yeah, German Shepherd. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, absolutely. Um, and, you know, it's very important also to remember that, you know, that you just don't find, and this is why I, I always look for five, and the reason why I look for five different designs is that there's room for somebody else to come in with a really good design. There's no point, you know, having one design that's selling, you know, thousands upon thousands, and every other one isn't selling. So there's room in the market for you to come in with, you know, a different type of design. And with your own slant on it, with your own sort of ideas that could sell really, really well. Um, hooded blankets. Um, again, this is just, you know, some people sell these, some don't like selling them, you know, but it's again, it's just to see. Hooded blankets. Oh, no, hold on. Okay, yeah. Um, Okay, so yes, one. Now, so there is others, but they're not selling all that well. Um, my, um, camping, hiking, no. no. This doesn't seem to be a runner. No, okay, so yes, there's one that seems to sell well. Um, it only, well, not only four and a half stars. So, you know, what you could do, go in. Have a look and see what the negative reviews are for that item. So if I, you know, click in onto that, you know, you can have a little route through the reviews and see, you know, the bad ones. Uh, but uh, you know, four and a half is 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 very good, um, and it looks very well. But it doesn't seem to, you know, other people with the, other blankets don't seem to be selling them very well. So I'm going to put a no for that one. Um, hats. German Shepherd hat. Um, 
Oh, that's a very good selling one. There you go. It's over 3,000 have sold. That's 10, you know, that's, well, reviews, that's about 30,000 have sold. And another good one too. Um, let me see. Well, yeah, very good. Three. I just want all the dogs. Now that's a general niche one. Uh, four. Um, yeah, five. Yeah, so very, very good. So, yes. And then just put in gifts. And, and now, what this really is, is just to give you an idea as to what else is, is selling. Okay? Um, so... German Shepherd hats gifts So we looked at t-shirts we looked at molds we looked at jewelry is there any wall art is there anything else you know that you know that's coming up here um, sort by relevancies sort by top customer reviews okay um, just to see what is selling the best you know what is really really doing well and you can see the mugs uh, you know so else that we haven't really looked at and that's all this one is right so this is this this search is just to see what else where we other ideas that we could do you know pillows and stuff like that so um so what i'm going to do now and oh yeah just so in case people might ask me what is you know keywords everywhere um, there will be a link to that underneath this video what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pause this I'm going to fill up the rest of the sheet because I don't want to bore you to death and then I'm going to explain my my um, my results so I'll be back in a minute right okay so <clears throat> I filled out a bit more on this because I didn't want to bore you to death I'm sure you're sick of listening to me at this stage so I went on to Amazon, I went on to eBay and you know for all of the four you know sub niches there nothing really stuck out apart from you know there was a German Shepherd item there that you know had 700 uh, reviews I think it was a pillow nothing really stuck out for me and that's what I'm saying Amazon and eBay in regards to shop you know to print on demand is not great now if you were selling you know weight loss tablets you know cds or whatever that was you know that would be our toys stuff like that yes amazon and ebay would be uh the place to go if you were doing that sort of business but print on demand you know etsy is your is your number one site to, to gauge to gauge whether you know it's a you know these these items are selling or not so when i done the extra searches what, what, what was coming out you know you know huddle blankets was not selling very well for any of the four um, hats, you know, well, it well, start. Mugs was a big seller with all of them. Phone cases was everything bar the sewing one for some reason. Now, uh, you know, when you type in sewing and um, phone cases, I think is it phone cases that are actually sewed together. So I put in sewing machines, and again, that didn't seem to. But again, look, you know, it might take a little bit more searching to find that. Um, and hats again. You know, is it, it, do they think we're looking for hats that are physically sold? You know, so again, I had tried to do sewing machine hats, and it wasn't getting back the results that I thought. Um, and in regards to again, look, and, and if you're into the sewing niche or it's something that you, you you might just look a little bit better than I did. In regards to the extra sort of gifts, what kind of stuck out for me with the German Shepherd was a wine glass, and, and what I'm looking for there in the gifts when I type in. You know, German Shepherd gifts, uh, Siberian Husky gifts. Those items that we haven't already looked at. You know, we you know that stick out apart from what we've already searched for. A wine glass stuck out for me there. Magnets and pillows kind of was very good selling for Siberian Husky. Keyrings was good for sewing and motivational quotes. In regards to the uh, the buyer intent keywords, German Shepherd um, didn't come up with any sort of you know gifts or jewelry or something like that but toys did now but but we have to be careful here right toys seem to be a popular german shepherd toys seem to be popular search term but we're not selling toys you know so print on demand is not toys okay um and again same with siberian husky um you know toys yes but we're not selling them now with sewing 
Yes, loads of buying intent, you know, because people are looking to buy sewing machine uh, or machines or sewing needles or sort of whatever, whatever they are, but we're not selling them, right? What I did find though was gifts for sewers, right? So that might be something that you could add into your your description, if product descriptions when you're typing out your, uh, you know, your description for your products. Um, and it's good to know what people are physically typing in. Now, for motivation and quotes, and I've already told you, um, uh, oh, sorry, yes, um, in online stores, I couldn't find any dedicated just to Siberian Husky. Sewing, there's loads of sewing stores, right? But it's not print on demand. I couldn't find one dedicated just for print on demand. And neither could I could for motivation and quotes. All of them, there's websites that have sections dedicated to, you know, or a section for that niche, but it's part of a general niche store. That's not kind of what we're looking for here. Now, you can go and have a look, have, get ideas of what's selling and what's not selling, but I couldn't, for, for these three anyway, I couldn't find ones just for them sub-niches. Um, so Amazon and eBay was kind of a no-no for all four of them. Um, now, just to show you, motivational quotes seems to be a few, um, you know, buyer intent keywords. Now, again, this is keywords everywhere. I am not a, an affiliate of them. If you if you do sign up for them, I do not make any money. But I think for you know they're the cheapest version out there for for finding what's you know people are physically typing in. You, I think it's a hundred thousand credits for ten dollars, which is yeah, you know it's very good value if you ask me. So motivation of quotes jewelry, nobody is typing that in. Okay, jewelry with engraved quotes. Let's have a look at that. 210 not great so if i load the extra metrics engraved necklace no inspiration quotes jewelry 590 not bad all right but we're looking for roughly around a thousand um so if i change it maybe to inspirational uh if, you know or motivational quotes quotes wall art okay we get a little bit of a, you know, 260 only there, right? But if I load the extra metrics over here, you know, wall hanging quotes, that's what we're looking into. So I'm going to put a star on that. Inspiration wall out for office. Yep. Um, so. Now if I just leave it at quotes again, because I just want to see, because some things did come up for me. Okay. Oh, was it gifts? Was it gifts. Right, let's load these and see what comes up. Quotes about receiving gifts. Okay, that could be good. Quote gifts for friends. Um, okay, yeah. Um, so this is where I'm saying that, you know, gifts. Inspirational gifts, yes inspirational quotes not really because you know it good so but that's not really i'm looking for a buyer intent you know quote gifts for friends uh yeah quote about it yeah so you see what i'm saying so that's why i have marked in here that there, there was some you know over two thousand um were they over two why did i have, what did i find that was two thousand um oh yeah um it's great yeah so that's rough, roughly right okay so to me overall, um all of them niches, them four there, because they they you know they passed the main criteria are are runners, right? And what the further research is is to find, you know, which one kind of sticks out the most. And as I said to you, and I'm being totally honest here, of all the four of them, the motivational quotes is the one that I am, you know, aiming towards or leaning towards because I have an interest in that. Now, I didn't know it was till I kind of went and done it here. And even though I have an interest in that, if it hadn't have passed this, then I wouldn't be in this part. In case anyone thinks, oh, yeah, I'm just putting it in there because I have an interest in it. No, you know, I have an interest in many, many things, you know. Like, I've, I love hurling, right? It's an Irish sport. But I don't think there's interest enough in it in the United States for it to be a runner. 
So there's loads of things I have an interest in that I could add in here. So just in case you think that I'm pushing things in that I have an interest in and just making it become a niche, that is not the case. And of all the four, all of these are possible. And I'm choosing the motivational quotes because I have an interest in them. Because now if German Shepherd, Husky and Somi had shown thousands upon thousands of good sales on Amazon and eBay, yes, I probably would have then, you know, aimed towards that. But for me, the motivational quotes, the hustle, you know, the the inspiration, the setting up your own business, the entrepreneurship, that to me, the wealth niche, you know, start up your own business and become wealthy and, and time freedom. That's what I I'm going to aim towards okay so that's the niche that I'm going to choose because it fits the seven main criteria it has you know the extra you know mugs and, and hats and stuff like that so there's a major interest in this and, and just to say as well you know if you find that something goes through just one of the criteria well, you know you might find that say a jewelry item goes through you know and sorry a sub niche goes through all of the main criteria and only a jewelry item is selling well or jewelry earrings and bracelets and, and and stuff but then just do a jewelry store you know and motivational quotes to me seems to be doing very very well on wall art but also jewelry so you know it's something now that i and the rest of the videos with me will be me doing this from scratch designing the store and stuff like that so in the next video, it will be me now choosing a domain name, but also choosing a domain name that's also available on the social media platforms. Because to build a brand, you have to use social media. And if you choose a name, so say for instance, the name of my store was motivational, motivationalquotes.com. That would also have to be available on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest and youtube because they are the, that's what you're going to build your brand with so that's what we're going to discuss in the next video choosing a domain name buying the domain name uh, but also making sure that it's also available on the main social media platforms which is very difficult to do and that's what the next video is so um please subscribe if you're watching this on youtube like the video email me at info at clevermerchants.com if you have any questions and I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you.